So in some of your projects, when you are required to create a cutting wall panel, what will come to your mind is something like this. But I don't think that is quite curved. As you can see, the munions are still looking straight and it's not perfectly curved. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a perfectly curved cutting wall panel system. So this is a video that is just going to improve your versatility in Revit. So when clients tell you they want this specific thing, you will not be like, uh, it's not possible in Revit. So in Revit, we always have ways to go around and beat some certain barriers. So if you haven't done so, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Also hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos because we do that on a weekly basis all right without any further ado we are going to jump into the main subject matter at hand all right so for the sake of familiarity and easy following i'm going to be using a default revit project without any additional template added all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a regular cutting wall a regular curved cutting wall so we're just going to go to walls and we're going to set up the conventional cutting wall so i'm going to click on this drop down icon i'm going to go over here and i'm going to click on this non-defined cutting wall so i'm just going to basically edit this cutting wall so i'm going to click on edit type i'm going to click on duplicate and i'm going to be creating 01 the regular cutting wall so once that is done i'm just going to click ok the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go to this content panel then i'm going to click on it the drop down and change it to system panel glazed then i'm going to click on layout the layout i'm going to set it at fixed distance i'm also going to set the layout at fixed distance so i'm going to set the vertical layout at 900 and the horizontal layout at 1.5 which i think is okay then we're going to assign monions to it i'm going to click on this drop down icon and i'm going to be selecting this 65 mm by 125 rectangular monion so i'm just going to select it all right so once this is done we're just going to click apply and we're going to click ok so i've already created a line here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be using this start arc and reduce arc tool then i'm going to click on it i'm going to go and pick this point here pick this point here then i'm going to curve it to about a 180 degrees then i'm just going to click again so it's going to create the normal cutting wall panel system so if we go to 3d now we are just going to see the cutting wall panel system you can see these are still straight munions this is not perfectly curved and these panels are straight as well so what we can do now if you can click on this cutting wall system we can just set the level to this roof level so now we are just going to duplicate this and we're going to make it perfectly curved so of course we are just going to be in this 3d view we are going to rotate this to the top we are going to just try and select the cutting wall itself so you can rotate it and just try and select it overall go back to top view then click on copy then just duplicate this here so now this is done you have duplicated it we're not going to make this one perfectly so it's asking us to save our project i'm just going to click save okay so now we are going to be making this one perfectly curved why we are going to be leaving this one so in the end of the video we can now make a comparison so let me just change this to shaded change this visibility graphics to shaded so you have a better view of this cutting wall system firstly we are going to start by creating the panel system so for this cutting wall panel system we are going to be creating some extra new walls so what we are going to do is we are going to go to this top view and we are just going to click on wall again then we are just going to click on this drop down icon and select maybe any regular generic wall then i'm just going to click on edit type i'm going to click on, click on duplicate then i'm just going to call this 01 um let me start from the mullion so i'm going to call this mullion then i'm going to click ok so i'm going to click on edit type then i'm going to change the thickness of the mullion to 125 to match that of the already existing mullion then i'm going to assign a new material i'm just going to click on aluminium and i'm going to click ok and i'm going to click apply apply and i'm going to click ok all right so now that is done we are going to just draw one here and we're going to click escape so now i'm going to click on wall again i'm not going to click on edit type i'm going to click on duplicate this time i'm going to form the curved glass panels so i'm just going to call this zero two glass then i'm going to click on ok i'm going to click on edit type then i'm going to change the thickness to 15 millimeter or 10 millimeters then i'm going to assign a structure that is assigned a material to it then i'm just going to look for right click duplicate then i'm just going to call this zero one glazed so now this is done i'm just going to click on this box i'm going to go to under appearance under appearance i'm going to look under glass and i'm just going to look for this blue insulating glass and i'm going to go to graphics make sure the graphics is set in render as graphics so we're just going to see the setting okay so it's use use graphic appearance and i'm going to click apply i'm going to click ok then i'm going to click ok here as well click and apply and click ok so now i'm just going to draw this second one here 
So now we have created the monion walls and we have created the normal glazed walls. So if I rotate it here, I think I should be able to see it. So these are the two of them. So now, of course, I'm not using these two walls for anything here. I'm just going to delete it. The main thing is that I've created the wall family. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to click on this cutting wall here. We're going to go to edit type. We're going to click on duplicate and we're just going to call this 02 curved cutting wall curved cw that is shortcut for cutting wall then i'm going to click ok i'm going to go to this cutting panel i'm going to click on it and i'm just going to go up to this glass basic wall glass that we created and i'm going to click on it and i'm going to change it so now what we're going to do is to make things faster we are just going to go over to this horizontal monions and we're just going to click on it and change it to none click on it change it to none click on it again change it to none then i'm going to click on apply and i'm going to click ok then i'm going to click on delete munion so it's going to delete all the horizontal munions and you're going to see the reason shortly the reason why i didn't delete the vertical munion is since it's a curved cutting wall we don't need the, the vertical munions to be curved as well we only need the horizontal munions that's why we're going to be creating our own curved horizontal munions so you can see from the setting we did these cutting wall panels are actually perfectly curved you can see how perfectly curved this glazed panel is com in comparison to this one let me just click on this and i'm just going to click on hh to hide it so you are going to see this is actually a straight panel so this our panel is looking too thick what i can simply do is i can go to walls again i can click on this glazed wall click on edit type click on edit type here and i'm just going to change it to 25 so it's going to become thicker i'm going to click on apply and you can see it also applied here so now to create our horizontal munions or our perfectly curved munions what we are simply going to do is we are going to add new grids and we are going to replace the panels to form the munion i'm going to click on architecture i'm going to go to grid so under this grid i'm going to be adding some new grids so you are just going to hover around the vertical part or the edge of it then you are just going to place the grid first then once you place it it's going to show some stuff but don't mind it place another one and we are going to hover around the two and paste one here so now we have pasted these horizontal grids so now we are going to be editing the dimension between them so of course we want the dimension to match the thickness of this munion which is 65 millimeter so we are going to click on it and we are just going to change it to 65 and we are going to click on this one go to this one here go over here click on tab select this one and we are going to change it to 20 m65 we are going to do the same for the subsequent ones so now what we are going to do now is all these segmented panels we have created using that grid. We are now going to click on tab. Then once I click on tab once, I'm going to click on tab till I select this panel. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click. I'm going to go over to this select panels and I'm going to say select panels along horizontal grid. Then I'm going to go over to this and unpin it. Then once I unpin it, I'm going to click on this drop down icon and I'm going to change it to this munion so you are going to see it's just going to form a perfectly curved munion so i'm going to do the same for this i'm going to click on tab after i click on tab i'm going to right click and i'm going to select panels along horizontal grid and i'm going to unpin it and i'm going to click on this and i'm going to change it to munion all right so we're just going to repeat the same process for this I'm okay so as you can see now we have completed it you can see in comparison to the two this is just looking like a more perfected version is looking although most times in real life construction they use this one revit defaultly gives out but this just gives you the edge in if you want it this way i can give you any way you want it whether you want it very smooth or you want it so it makes you like a pro so it gives you more control all right so the most important thing to take cognizance of is make sure the walls you are creating matches the millions and make sure the walls you are creating for the glass also matches the thickness of the glaze panels so it will just also serve the use so this can be helpful in many projects you can see how different it is and how we did it okay so if this video was helpful don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to this channel for more content like this also hit the notification bell to get notified because we do this on a weekly basis thank you very much and have a wonderful day